Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Bar-L. Um, if you guys haven't looked, uh, more episodes are coming out for the How to Build a Gaming Desk slash post-production slash productivity desk on the cheap. Again, I'm doing a prize giveaway. Uh, the first winner in the last episode is going to be able to get a, um, a Scorpion mask or a Noob Saibot mask. Be sure to join me on my Instagram at Vortex underscore Cinema. I just made it, thanks to you guys. <laughs> and I have... Uh, Pretty much all my new uh, stuff and sneak peeks of new prizes I'm giving out. As you can hear it in the background, some things are printing out and in the works for Comic-Con of next, uh, well, this year technically, but whatever. So uh, definitely stay tuned uh, for that. Uh, now I'm going to tell you guys something. Something uh, that has been requested of me to get, and I am going to get it for y'all. I'm definitely getting it. Give me one second. Definitely I'm going to get it uh, for y'all. I'm going to do a full-on review so you guys don't have to worry about it. Uh, is uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. Also, a number one requested, the next one, was uh, this one right here, which is, I'm going to see here, um, which is As uh, Astral, uh, Astral Chain. Okay, so I am going to tell you guys something. I'm going to go into that right now. But first off, uh, about these games. But first off, I want to just talk about uh, Marvel uh, uh, Ultimate Alliance 3. So we're going to go right into it. I just want to show you some pictures and all that stuff that are in the Nintendo Store. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about it. And the reason why I want to talk to you guys about it is because I want to make sure this. Uh, some things are not going to happen in this game that I think a lot of us are concerned about. Um, I haven't seen it brought up up here on YouTube, but a lot in the forums have. Uh, I myself have tons of worries about this game. And like I said, I am going to be doing this, uh, you know, getting this game for y'all, and I'm going to be doing a totally in-depth review so you guys fully see what it is before you guys buy it. I'm going to tell you guys if there's a grind involved with microtransactions. I'm going to tell you guys every little crap that's going to be in this game. So if it's not worth it, you could put your money in a different game like Astral Chain or even other games in general that's going to come out later on, uh, you know, and all of that stuff. So let's get uh, right into it. Okay, so let's get right into this game. So I'm going to talk to you guys about it. First off, as you can see right there in the bottom, what does it say? Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order is coming out in July 19, 2019, as you can see right here. So we're definitely going to be seeing it. Uh, it says estimated release, but as you know, when they say that, usually it means that's when it comes, uh, comes along. Uh, so let's get right into this so you guys could just see it. Uh, <clears throat> this is the uh, pictures that they have in the Nintendo eShop, so you guys could see how it is. It looks really nice in graphics and everything. Uh, and let me show you some in-game. Right here is the in-game um, and all of that uh, good stuff. And it looks really, really promising. Looks pretty amazing. But you start to see things that appear here that kind of worries me. Uh, now, I'm a big fan of the franchise. I played it on my PlayStation Portable. I had it, you know, on you know, I, I pretty much played every freaking game that they had, part one and two. So the thing that I noticed a lot in these games uh, were that the fact that I found them to be a little bit worrisome for this one because of what happened in the past. So the first thing that kind of uh, irritated me was the repetition. A lot of the times you'd go through the stages and every fighter, like for instance this, I hope it's not going to be like that, where you're going to have a hundred freaking sentinels running around and all you do is kill them. And then you have a hundred little, you see like everybody looks exactly the same. There's no difference in any of it. And it just becomes repetitious and repetitious and repetitious. And even though the stages change a little bit, now I remember in part one and two, they were just in like freaking corridors. Everything looked exactly the same with, you know, they have little variations in enemies and stuff, but it looks exactly the same. I hope there's more stage design, which it looks like there is. There's more stages here that, that, that looks different. Uh, I just hope they don't feel like a corridor, like the, the, the first and second ones did. Uh, and what I found really horrible was the fact that it was extremely repetitious. And because it was repetitious, I lost interest in the game. So I would go right into a wrestling game afterwards or right into some other game after I get my Marvel on. You know, I just release it. You know, it, it's, it didn't keep me interested to play all the way through. Uh, you know, just a little bit here, a little bit there, and then I'd shut off and play another game because it was repetitious as hell to the point that I actually felt, in the second one especially, that I was actually falling asleep 
as I'm playing it. And then I would be like, all right, forget it. I'm done with this. I really hope that uh, doesn't become an issue. Another big issue is that I'm seeing on forums right now. A lot of people are speculating. And again, don't like to do rumors or anything. But I am praying to God that this does not become another fu- you know, freaking grind. Now, if you guys remember, different games just like this on the cell phone, they require you to unlock these loot boxes, and you're not guaranteed to get anything big. You get a two-star or a three-star. And I have a feeling right now in this generation, we're going to have a lot of that in this game. I have a feeling we're going to have a ton of loot boxes here. We're going to have a lot of grinding to do. And I really hope and pray to God it is not a pay-to-win type of game because that is going to seriously piss me off. Okay, now as you can see, the detail looks stunning. It looks great. It looks, you know, like something you'd see in a PlayStation 3. It looks pretty good. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, to play. It actually looks better through the phone than I'm seeing it on my 4K monitor. But again, this game was designed on HD, not 4K. And it looks pretty freaking cool. It looks dope. But again, if there's a grind involved in it, like to get a, a you know... A, you know, costumes, I don't care. You know, make it a grind for costumes. I don't really give a crap about that. What I care is if the, it's not a, a pay to win. What I care is that they don't make it increasingly difficult to the point you want to pull your hair out because it'll do what is called entrapment, which is illegal, and they do this in games today. I don't know why nobody's fighting. Well, some people are fighting it in court, where they pressure you into buying other characters so you can get through a certain, a certain stage, you know, a.k.a., uh, you know, uh, pay to win. And I really hope there is no grind here, but a lot of people are already speculating that there will be loot boxes in this game. And, and you know, if it is, this game will be completely unenjoyable. It'll feel exactly like a stupid cell phone game that you could play, which they have already on the cell phone game, which is like a turn-based uh, one. But, uh, you know, uh, like game like this, where you're versing other characters. But, you, you know, it's going to feel exactly like a freaking cell phone game. And it's not going to feel like something you're buying in the consoles. Now, I urge you guys, again, and I keep saying this, and, and I'm going to say it again. Do not give power to these kind of games, okay? Do not give them money. They need to learn a lesson that anything that's pay to win is not going to have any backing. In fact, I think that any game that requires you to pay to complete and get a full game because they release a half-ass game should not be paid for in full, especially those ones that have seasons. Now, some people are going to disagree with me and say, well, we like it because it keeps the game interesting and blah, blah, blah. I'd rather see another part than keep the game interesting. Uh, and, and keep the game interesting, you know, I mean... This is why they're releasing half-assed games today and not a complete full game because they force you to actually pay more money out of pocket to complete your game. Hell, there's even seasons involved. So you got to go, even when you, you buy a premium edition, you're going to have to buy other seasons next year and the year after if they continue development for this project. But like I said, I really hope and pray to God this is not going to happen in this game. Because if there's a grind in this game, it's going to absolutely, tootalutely suck. Okay? And, I, and I'm still going to get it for you guys. You guys requested it. I will buy it. I did, you know, I will pre-order it. Uh, I haven't done so yet, but I, I will pre-order it uh, and get it for you guys and review it on day one like I always do and do a totally in-depth review and uh, let you guys know what's in it. And if it's not worth it, there's so many other games that are coming out. Okay, this one I kind of, I really dig this with Super Mario Maker. I'm not a big Maker fan, but Maker 2 with a 12-month online membership. So you're basically saving 10 bucks because I believe it's $20 uh, $20 for their online. So you get it uh, for 70, oh, yeah, 70 bucks. You're saving like, you know, you're saving 10 bucks. But there's so many other games. And one of the other games you guys requested, which I'm going to admit I knew nothing about, is this one, Astral Chain. Uh, and I got to say, I'm kind of blown away, but, you know, the price of it is 60 bucks. Uh, I, I'm going to get this too, so you guys are going to see what the heck it is. But it looks absolutely stunning, as you guys can see right here. Absolutely stunning. I mean, this looks really, really good. I really dig this. <laughs> it looks pretty awesome. I really hope this game is worth the $60 price tag. Uh, really cool. Look at this. Just amazing. Look at the wow! The graphics look incredible. I would love to see a Gears of War on this uh, system right here. Oh man, how awesome would that be? 
I'm, I'm willing to pay 30 bucks for it if they ever do come out with that. But this game looks pretty uh, promising, and I, I thank you guys for letting me know about it. Because, you know, so when you're looking at, you know, there's a lot of junk sometimes that appears on here. You know, like these things right here and whatever. Uh, I, I don't want to offend anybody. Some of you guys might like it. But I'm saying, you know, there's a lot of indie stuff. I wish the Nintendo eShop was more, you know, um, organized. This thing really ticks me off to pay $40 for a game that was on cell phones. Uh, unbelievable. And this, of course, which I won't see a cent of my money, 30 bucks for Resident Evil ports. Absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, so that's all I got to say about that. Let me know what you guys think about uh, Marvel uh, Ultimate Alliance 3, uh, The Black Order. Let me know if you guys heard anything. Uh, what is your concerns? Again, this is the time to be vocal, guys. Go on forums. Go on this, uh, you know, on our channel right here and just comment. Definitely be vocal because I want them to see it and, you know, hopefully they can correct whatever there is to correct. But if there is a grind and I really pray to God there won't be and I and I'm kind of thinking there will be. This is going to be really, really stupid, uh, especially holding a required space of 13.2 gigabytes. Wow, that's a big one, but uh, not that bad. Let's see on this one here. Uh, this is a, wow, okay, so, to be announced, uh, doesn't tell you, uh, I only could hope, <laughs> uh, I only could hope that they won't have it, but game size and release dates of DLC will be whatever, yeah, I can't believe they don't have it here, okay, so, let me see, maybe it's on read more, view details, yeah, they, I don't know, yeah, they got nothing here, oh, game vouchers, look at that, no, but anyways, um, so that's really all there is here. I mean, this doesn't even tell you anything because it's coming out in August uh, 30th, 2019. And I will get it as per your request. These two actually got the number one request. So definitely these will be absolutely reviewed for you guys. Let's see how much this costs right here. Another port. Oh, okay, they didn't discuss it. I'm willing to bet it's going to be a $30 port. I only hope they're not. Uh, Crash Bandicoot has been pretty cool to us, pretty good to us. Anyways, let me know what you guys, what your concerns are, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, definitely, uh, I'm, you know, I definitely want to hear uh, and see what else is out there. Oh God, this game looks horrible. Um, Ten bucks though, whatever. So uh, definitely. Uh, you know, comment down below and uh, let's have a discussion. Uh, as always, if uh, this is our channel, if you like what you see, definitely like, subscribe, hit that bell button. As many, many, many more videos to come. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here. Be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini series to unboxings to technology. You know and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.